been about a month and a half since I started this boat. Let's give it a pump or two and see if it starts up. It's been sitting outside my house getting all corroded. Someone even tried to steal it. They broke this thing out here with a hammer, but they didn't take the motor. All right, let's see. First pull. First pull in two months. Uh-oh. Well, we're starting this off like a real adventure. So about a month ago, someone tried to steal my motor for some reason. This was locked, but I guess they hit it with a hammer, busted it off, and I just realized, actually, Christian just told me, maybe it's the kill switch. So there's no kill switch, but I did put this treble hook here, and now the kill switch is out in the starting position, so let's give it a whirl. Let's go, first pull. All right, well, with the kill switch on, We've got this sliding snell knot. Maybe I should slide it down so I don't get get hooked. But that'll do the job. Now I'll get us. Oh, look at all those birds. That's exactly what we're looking for today too. So I've got enough salt here to season an army. Oh, sea salt, ice cream salt, pickling salt, iodized salt, and we've got four bags, nine pound bags of ice. I'm gonna dump this ice into the cooler, mix the salt in here. And what that's gonna do is allow the temperature of the ice water to get so cold that if I drop an anchovy in there, it will freeze within 10 seconds. That's the, that's the goal of today. I know a lot of my recent trips have failed. The ideas have failed like the rigor mortis, but today, hopefully it doesn't. So get the ice in here, mix the salt in first. So you know how people say that the herring you catch locally is some of the best bait you can use? Well, I'm thinking it's the same for anchovy. Why wouldn't it be the same? So I don't know how much salt I need, but I mean, that should, that should do the trick, I think. You know, I, I don't know why, but I, I just feel like I should add more. Is You can never have too much when you're trying to do this, right? So I'm just gonna finish this off. Some more canning salt. This is another four pounds. So we got 16 pounds of salt. If that doesn't do the trick, man, I don't know what will. Ooh, that'll dissolve really nice and easy. I guess one good way to test it, I could put my finger in there and see if I get, um, whoo. See if I get a frostbite. Ooh, that is cold, man. Ooh, that is freezing cold. Now, as we motor out to the spot, I've got two cast nets here. This is a four foot cast net, which is the radius of the cast net, half the length. Total length is eight feet in diameter. And I also have an eight foot cast net in here, which is the radius, 16 foot diameter, a lot harder to throw. Only problem with these two cast nets is that these have three eighth inch mesh, which if I catch a lot of anchovies, almost guaranteed all their heads are going to be stuck in the net. But that's all I have, so I'm gonna to try to make it, it's gonna be worth it if I can get a bucket full, freeze about a hundred of them, get them in trays, Here's a good little test. I've got some juice here. I'm gonna put it in here and see if it freezes. Apparently there's a ton of bait right in the harbor here, six feet below me, which is would be great. Then I wouldn't have to go out into the ocean. So let's give this a shot and throw this cast net out. See if we can get any. Oh man, it is super thick here. So let's see. We'll start off with the small cast net. First throw, let's see if we can get anything. All right, good little throw right there. Going down. Okay, nothing there. Ooh, this is heavy. Make sure there's no tangles here. Looks like we're 
untangle free. Oh yeah, birds are diving. I mean, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to get them right here. Let me just get out a little bit because the wind is pushing me to the rock. So get to a safe spot. Let's see, all right, well, it's still thick here. All right, not bad. If there's any, anything down there, should be able to get something with that. Got anything here? Nothing, seriously? Not that possible. Damn. All right, well, I'll get in position to do another throw. If I can't get anything inside here, we'll have to go out into the ocean. You guys see it all? Look at the life out here. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful thing. Let's throw this net out. Wow. Oh man, I suck at this freaking net. Only one way to get better at something, and that's just to practice and try to adjust things. So let me do that. Can't get one, bro. What the heck? Oh, I get. I did get one. I got one. It's my first anchovy on the cast net, y'all. It's a good-looking one too. I would use that for bait. Got one. I got one. Haha. <laughs> All right. Oh no. All right, maybe. Maybe. Maybe got some there. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Ooh, it's so thick here. It's crazy. It's madness, y'all. It's just confusion everywhere. Oh, we got some. Yes. We found some good ones, too. All right. Here we go. Got a few. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, they're good too. I'll show you after. This is the opportunity though. This is the chance. So we're gonna make the most of it and get them all out of here and try to get some more while we can. Oh yeah, we got about, about 10 of them. 10 good ones. Really gotta make it count because yeah, look, they're getting stuck in the mesh. Not what I want. Not what I want at all. That's okay though. That is okay. Hey, okay. Oh, this one's I. This one's rock hard. It worked. It worked. All right, they're thick here. Let's put it in reverse. Just throw this out. I think I got the hang of this a little bit. All right, good enough. Good enough. Good enough to get a few. I think so. We'll let this get down to the bottom, and I think we'll be able to get some on this pull too. What do we have here? Do we have some? Tell me we got a couple. Yes, we got them, baby. Oh, we got them. These are a little bit smaller. And there's a ton of them. Look, yes, 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 yes. All right, decent amount, man. And they freeze fast. Woo! I think, I think I've figured out a little bit on how to throw this thing a little bit better. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a whole bunch on the bottom and I'm keeping this low. So when I throw it out, I keep it low and kind of hold it until it all opens up. And that way, you know, it opens up and it's open, opens up more than the four foot net. So this is still going to be more efficient if I can get the hang of it. And if I can get on top of some bait again. Oh, I got some. Let's see, found them, man. Right there in the dirty, dirty water. Good amount, too. Right, let's get back to that murky, murky, muddy water. I like that a lot. Super murky right here. We'll get in the muddiest zone we can. All right, let's do a good throw. Let's, now, now is when a good throw really counts. 
really counts right here. All right, decent, decent, decent. That 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 should work. Okay, yep. Found them. Good amount again. Nice. Those are definitely getting better though. Woo! Yeah, baby, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. Very nice. There we go. About 10 of them in there, at least, maybe more. Here's my drink. It's frozen. So are all the anchovies. Let's go back in. Oops, soaked. Made it back to the harbor, a little wet, but safe. Let's pull the kill cord. And check this out. There are some really nice ones, and they are all frozen solid and the reason that I really wanted to have them freeze like this was because last time I got them I used them for bait but every time they thaw off they their bellies just blow out so this is kind of an experiment to see if you keep them fresh like this I mean you can't get any fresher than that I got a good bunch of them so I'm gonna get oh wow look at that one that's just pristine not a scale missing it's gonna be shiny as heck when I get home um, yeah, I'm going to thaw off my drink when I get home, we'll vacuum pack them and you don't have to squish them when you vacuum pack them. So we'll get back home and vacuum pack these and get them in the freezer. Where are you, drain plug? There you are. So I just demonstrated it, but the best part about this method is that these things get rock solid immediately, basically within minutes. So when you vacuum pack them, it makes it so much easier. So I'm going to put about eight of them on each tray. And you know how I did it today was not the most efficient way. If you don't have access to a boat, there are places in San Francisco and in the Bay Area where you can get live bait and you can just load up a cooler with ice and salt. Have them dump that whole scoop into your cooler. Boom, you got bait for the entire season. But the real test comes next time we do go salmon fishing. And then we'll be able to see, really, if this makes a difference or not. Here we go. We're going to get some baits in here. Man, these are big, big size. Get a variety of them on. Try not to get frostbite as I do this. Cool thing about this, put as many or as few as you want. Once you get them on there, put them in my bag. And when I pack them down, I pack them down and they won't smash up on you because they're frozen already. Isn't that great? Now, a lot of times I fish alone. So, you know, six or seven, that's good. Usually I have about five or six extra. So I can just put them exactly how I would do it. Now I'll just throw these back in the ice, keep them frozen. And we're just gonna continue on packing it up until we're done. I'm thinking this is about a, this is a good number of baits per tray, seven per tray, seven or eight per tray. And yeah, it's just perfect, man. Take a look how this turns out. Every single one so far, beautiful. Very, very nice. Couldn't be happier with the results. Now it's just the fishing test. On another note, if you haven't heard from my other videos, Fisherman's Life Street Fair on August 6th. Also, I just restocked on these halibut getting gaff t-shirts. So 
So get, check those out at fishermanslife.net. We're about done here. I think we got one more, one more pack and that's, that's it. All right, that's it. Last one. Hands are about to get frostbite. I gotta be careful. All right, well, there you have it. That's one way you can freeze your bait immediately and use them for later. Nothing's better than local bait. Pretty happy with this haul. Let's count how many we got. Call it a day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten trays. That should be good for the season. Peace.